guys, Brian here, Still Gear View, IPC PR 2019. We are here in the Ventura booth. We're talking to Michael Giannini. You're going to show us a bunch of interesting new product you have here at the trade show, aren't you? Uh, absolutely. Brian. All right, all right. So where are we starting? So this year we've redone our entire booth, Ventura Cigar. We are a standalone cigar company, so this is our coming out party. Um, and I'm so excited that the way we designed this booth was actually to be almost an art gallery. Okay. So my first real project, when I came in two years ago, we have this brand called Cuban Cigar Factory that we purchased out of San Diego. And it's basically a this touristy kind of thing for people to come in and buy cigars. But we purchased it. It was my first project. I was in Philadelphia, uh, December 24th, 2017, sitting in my car, freezing my butt off. It was 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm in front of a Walgreens to do the last pieces of Christmas shopping. I had to call Benji Menendez. And if you don't know who Benji Menendez is, he's the only cigar master in this entire world that's work in eight different countries. And I wished him a Merry Christmas to his family. Like, Benji, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm here in my Na Miami. When are you coming to see me? Like, Benji, I got this great idea. I would love to tell you your story. Would you do a project with me? And he's like, Michael, I love you. I'll do anything that you want. So this Cuban Cigar Factory for me became a story about Cuban expats that to me are the guys I've always admired. I got to work with Benji for a bunch of years and he's basically retired right now and I'm like, I can't let this guy fade away. So part of my obligation as a guy that's been in the industry, October will be my 38th year. I need to tell the story of the, to the new generation that these are the OGs of the cigar industry that I love and respect. So. This is the Benji Menendez Cuban Cigar Factory. And with that, I actually approached Manolo Casada, who Benji and Manolo are very dear friends. And I went to Manolo and I'm like, I've always wanted to work with you. Would you be interested in doing a project with me? One of my seminal moments, Brian, was I smoked a two by two Fonseca back during the cigar boom and absolutely blew, I was blown away by this cigar. And now that I had this opportunity to work with him, and I'm like, would you do this project with me? Between us three. So Benjamin Endes, yourself, and I. And so we did the Manola Casada, yeah. Cuban Cigar Factory blend. The Benji and the Manola are made in Casada Cigar Factory. We shot a ton of video of these guys, which we're going to be releasing on Ventura's social media. And I'm telling their stories and their history of stuff that people have forgotten about or don't even remember about Cuba and how they left yeah. in their trials yeah. and tribulations. So we have three sizes each. Um, the fun part was trying to triangulate me living in L.A., Benji basically based in Miami, and Manolo based in the DR, and trying to get all three of us on conference calls and visiting them all. So I would spend a lot of time in the air working this project. So this is my passion project, and I just want to tell the rest of the world, don't forget about these guys. These are the guys that I look up to. So how soon are we going to start seeing these? these are they are gonna, out now, or are they on the way? We're previewing here. Um, we're going to ship them sometime early September. So early they'll September. be out in the okay. market. It's three sizes each. We did an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper for uh, Benji Pleasure. because that's, and the colors are representative of the great brands he's worked on. And then for Manolo, if you met Manolo, his first factory was blue and he has a, a wardrobe of blue shirts. That's all he wears is blue shirts. Oh, I ne never really noticed, but okay. He's so very into blue, that. I get that. Yeah. He wears blue all the time. So that is also a very special wrapper that he's put on his blend. So we're super excited to actually have these two projects. So this is more of a passion project for me than anything else. So when these when these do make it to the shelves, what, what are we going to look at in terms of retail? Anywhere from between $10 to $12. $10 to $12. Okay. Very reasonable. Um, just a cool project. All right. Well, you have a few other things I to do show have us a few well. other things. So let's mosey on down. So this is this is our third alliteration of uh, archetype. It's called archetype chapter three. We have sacred scales and we have dawn and destiny. So the idea behind this, the whole archetype story is basically how stories that have been passed down from generation to generation. And it's about the hero. Okay. It's about the villain, and it's about some power and how this how we all go through our lives over generations. That's what brings us all together as humans. So this is the third chapter of that story. So Sacred Scales is basically about you have the, the judgment of the wolf, and you have the scales between the feather and the heart. So as the hero goes through his path, he's living his high life, but he has some major tragedy in his life. And as he comes out of that battle, he's as light as a feather. He's as hard as light as a feather, he sends in the cigar heart. If he comes out of that battle with a very heavy heart, he descends into cigar hell, which is basically oh, okay. you're stuck in a humidor without a lighter. That's my help. Wow, that's that's tough. That would be hell. And not even sticks or sticks to rub nothing, together. Or nothing. You just have yeah. every cigar you've ever wanted to smoke. You have no way to ignite the cigar. Very, very striking artwork with this. What? Uh, so, where did so, that come from? So, this is you know I lived in Miami for about ten years. Big fan of Miami Vice. 
We wanted okay. to do really yeah. cool neon. Also, back in the 70s and 80s with the black lights. And so, we actually have black lights. And if you want to capture this on camera. So actually on the vistas and the cigar bats, it's a little too bright, but actually what you'll see is the wolf's fur will actually turn white. And we've also done the same thing with the beds. So if you really have a true black light, this is a little keychain, this is actually turn for you. So no no hidden text in there under a block. Well, I don't know. Like, Maybe you can see that. Maybe okay. the Beatles are dead and they're really not still alive. Uh, An okay. alternate reality. You never know. Egyptian where this is a beetle that in Egyptian times they actually see the dung beetle move the dung into a hole and then babies would come out of it and they thought that the beetle was rebirth. So this is about rebirth now that the heroes come out of this battle, he's reborn into something else. I walked up to I walked up to him and I just So here's what's the cool thing about this is I actually worked with a dear colleague of mine and one of my mentors and a dear friend or yeah. So this is a project I started last year with him before he got number one and I asked for Nessa to work on this project with me. He got a huge shuffle out of our artwork because he's a very Cuban-esque, very traditional Very traditional thing. guy, yeah. Very traditional. So I actually helped him bust out a little bit and when he saw this he absolutely loved the coolness of this and he thinks I'm out of my mind but he actually thinks we did here. So we went back to some of our, of our old school roots. We wanted to use a Sumatra wrapper back in our days. So I really love that Sumatra wrapper. So that's the first time we had that in the Archetype line. And then the second part is we did a Mexican San Andreas Maduro. So that is on the sacred scale. No, no. Okay. So are these uh, shipping soon? Are they shipping? Uh, these are shipping in August. Shipping in August. Okay. And uh, retail prices for these? Between 10 and 14 dollars. 10 and 14 dollars. Okay. Great. So this is Indiana Ortez. And Hi, Indiana Ortez, hello. Come with us. Todo bien. Cool? Bien. Bien. So, Indiana Ortez, actually we met Indiana about a year ago. Actually, I didn't meet Indiana a year ago. We had this project called Father Friends of Fire, and the idea behind this was we actually wanted to celebrate Fathers on Father's Day. So, dads okay. are overlooked, and I like to say that dads become a sperm bank and then they become a bank later in life. Okay. So, <laughs> for those of you who are about, that's not an offensive thing. It is just that I've learned that from my brother-in-law because all he says to me, my wife and my kids ask me for money and i got to pay bills. So, Tony, if you're out there watching this, sorry. So, so the idea was we actually wanted to team up with a father and daughter team, and I had not met Indiana. So, we called her on the phone on her 24th birthday and said, listen, we'd love for you to create a blend with us, and she did. Didn't smoke the cigars until I met her a couple months later in her factory, and this beautiful young lady comes walking out with this blend, and I was blown away by the cigar that she put together for Father, Friends, and Father. I met her, so I had her come out to California. I hired her immediately. I brought her out to California. She brought me five cigars of four different blends. Not 25 to try. She only bought five. Well, we fell in love with this one specific blend, and before she left, I said, I'm giving you my cycle brand. I'm going to have your name on it, and I'll let her tell you about this fantastic cycle seven day crop. Yeah, Seiko so Seven Nicaragua is a 100% day. We use a 100% Nicaraguan tobacco, the grubber. It's a vintage grubber from the crop 2007. And the cigar coming in three sizes Toro, Robusto, and Gordo. The, all the tobacco that we put inside is 100% Nicaraguan tobacco. The grubber is growing in Jalapa. We use in the three principal region of Nicaragua. Uh, Condega, Esteli, and Jalapa, and the flavor profile is really different and it's really unique because we are blending, we're trying to blend in the real and authentic flavor that Nicaragua has. That's it. So how soon will we be seeing these on uh, store shelves? How? Yeah, when will these ship? It's ready to ship. Is it shipping right now? Yeah. Shipping right now. Right okay. Now. And how much price point uh, are we looking at? Uh, eight to nine dollars. Eight to nine dollars. Okay. So look for the, the Psycho Seven coming out yeah. immediately. And that's Indiana on her 
Our, our tagline is mitigate your mind, so this is uh, the taste of uh, Nicaragua, and we took this beautiful face, and we actually wanted to create uh, this really alternate side to the neon and this nasty. <laughs> very, very uh, trippy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you both thank for uh, taking you. a thank moment to so talk much. to us. Really appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you.